Welcome back everyone. In the last video, we learned how to display an error message for a particular field. But we did have a setback. While our form works and the users see each error, it's not a great user experience for them. Our validation function runs on each keystroke against the entire form's values and our errors object contains all validation errors at any given moment. And in our YouTube form JSX, we are just checking if an error exists and then immediately displaying it to the user. This is awkward since we are going to show error messages for fields that the user hasn't even visited yet. Going back to what I mentioned in the previous video, if there are 20 fields, we should not display error messages for all the 20 fields if the user has just interacted with the first field. Most of the time, we only want to show a field's error message after our user is done typing in that field. Now the question is, how do we keep track of the fields the user has interacted with? Or in simpler terms, how do we keep track of the visited fields in a form? Well, that is where Formic again comes to our help. If we have to track whether a form field has been visited, we have to add the on blur prop on the form input element. And to this prop, we pass in formic dot handle blur. Again, handle blur is a helper method that we get from our formic constant. Let's add this to the other two fields as well. So copy the line, paste it for email, and paste it for channel. So we have done what Formic requires us to do to keep track of the visited fields. But where does Formic store that information? It stores it in an object called touched. And that object is of the same shape as the values object. So similar to Formic.values and Formic.errors, we also have Formic.touched. Let's log this to the console and take a look at the key value pairs. So I'm going to change this to visited fields and this is going to be formic.touched. If you now go back to the browser, on page load, you can see that visited fields is an empty object. None of the fields have been visited yet. Now I'm going to simply click the cursor inside the name field and then click outside the form. Now you can see that the touched object has one property called name and it is set to true. This implies that the name field has been visited. Let me repeat it for email. You can see that name and email both are now visited. And finally, channel. All three fields are now visited. So the touched object gives you information on whether a field has been visited or not. If it has been visited, the property would be present with a value of true. All right, now that we have this information, in the next video, let's see how we can improve the UX for displaying our error messages.